Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Demonologist. We're going to pump this up just slightly. We are going to be showing off just a simple uh, mission on the original map that you will play through. Just a full gameplay, low editing um, showcase of this game and the wonderful <laughs> loading pop in uh, textures that need to happen at the beginning of the game. Although it looks like everything's back in. Uh, that says Wang on it. Yeah, I know. Uh, very nice. Uh, this is Jerry the Magnificent. Uh, he's a wonderful cockroach EMF man. Um, just like Phasmophobia, you need to find three different types of evidence. And in this case, uh, one of them is if you get EMF5, just like Phasmophobia. In this case, though, your um, beautiful fucking cockroach is your EMF. And the door is closed. I don't like that. I think the door is usually open. Hello? Any friendly friends who wish to be friendly with me? Oh, hello. Yes, that's uh, that's a thing that happens. Don't worry about that. That's probably fine. It's probably good and dandy in every single way, shape, and form. That almost looks like a face for a second. Where's the light switch in here? I never remember. We're going to turn off. Uh, turn on. A <laughs> Jesus. Hmm, that one got me. That one always gets me. That one always, always, always gets me. Every single time. Ooh, I feel, I feel the, feel the um, adrenaline pump through my body. You ever have that happen where the, you can actually feel the adrenaline get injected into your body? There's the Ouija board over there, which is way too dangerous to mess around with. Yes, there's an evil voice of evil happening right now, but I don't really care. That's not a sign of uh, the ghost yet. Okay, there goes a light. That's fine. That's probably fine. That's probably good and dandy and okay. Hello? Are you gonna scare me? Yes, you are. <laughs> Whoo. Wait, what? I didn't actually turn that one on. No, I didn't turn that one on. This got messed with. Interesting. We may have found the ghost room. Oh, yeah, we found the ghost room. EMF 4 already. Okay, well, we found it. This is an active, active ghost. We're gonna go outside and get some more um, stuff. Cause man, this ghost is active. Uh, yeah, I'm very active. <laughs> that helps. Well, we don't have to explore the rest of the house then. It broke the fucking light already. That's nutty. This is an extremely active ghost. Usually you have to sort of look around a little bit more to find where the ghost is at. This ghost is actually so active, I'm afraid that it's a ghost that activates by your voice, so I'm actually gonna do the coward's way out and bring a cruci already. What's my sanity at? 90%. Uh, I probably don't need one. We'll leave it on the ground here. Um, let's take this, which is the cum stain detector. You'll find out what I mean. Usually whenever there's some activity around. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna bring in... Uh, it is messing with that a lot. We're gonna bring in the easel and we're gonna bring in... The ESG. These are two objects that we're, are going to need time to be interacted with. So I want them already in there, ready to go. ESG, you have to actually see the ghost appear above it. Usually in the ghost room where it's most active, where you'll get 90% of your evidence. And then the easel has to be painted on. So we got to be careful with that. Or, well, you know what I mean. The easel has to be painted on, sort of like the ghost journal. So we got to just be careful um, to try and get evidence on it. Got to be active. Yep. EMF 4 still. And then we'll put it like this so we can see it. And then we'll go get more stuff. We'll probably go ahead and bring in a crucifix just because of how active it is. And I'll probably put it down somewhere just so we can already have it ready to go. The crucifix, unlike Phasmophobia, you have to be holding it. If you're holding it and the ghost touches you when it's hunting, the crucifix will take the bullet for you rather than um, you getting killed. So it's a good idea to have one um, usually on your like third trip in. Like right here, I might... All right, my sanity's good. Um, so I'm just going to bring in some stuff set it on the ground and then bring in a crucifix i think Ooh, he's active whatever he is he's active 
And finding out what type the ghost is is also just step one. We gotta find three unique, a unique set of evidences that belong to this ghost. Ooh, it is. I love this map. This might actually be my favorite map, the original map. Just because it is. Ooh, he closed the door on our face. Uh, he just tossed something at me, too. I'm not seeing any fingerprints, though. Ooh, close that door again. We are looking for these white stains that total. Oh, I see my breath. That's freezing temperatures. Okay, such an active ghost. Where is the UV? I want to double check the door. Nope, but we have freezing temperatures and now I'm going to get the spirit box and a crucifix, I think. I think that's the way to go. Spirit box, we need to be able to talk to this ghosty goo and it might be able to talk back. And then Crucifix just to protect us because of how active it's being. I'm not super worried. Um, but losing all of the money I put into my equipment would suck. I might try a hunt with just like basic equipment just to show off um, how you do it without um, all the extra bits and bobs. Because I got all the extra stuff. It's not giving me a lot right now. Um, let me see. Like, it's, it's doing a lot, but it's not actually giving me much evidence. It is freezing temperatures. I'm going to go ahead and cross out fingerprints. I feel like it would have already given me fingerprints if it was going to be a fingerprint ghost. So we got a lot of different options. Um, I don't know what it could be yet. Do I want to bring in the Fulu? It's already active. We can bring in a Fulu later. Let's bring in the spirit box. Try to make that happen. Now, usually whenever I have a crucifix, I want a panic button in, in case it starts hunting right on top of me. So two is my panic button. I can just pull out the crucy. I'll just go ahead and hold it while I'm running over there. I really wish a lot of these lights didn't break because I could really use the um, not drop insanity. My sanity is not dropping very quickly, though, so far, which is nice. Very nice. Close this door again. Uh, EMF four. Are you here? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you a friendly friend? Where are you? Do you like corn? I actually know if that one works. How old are you? Not giving me a lot. Okay. Let's double check this bad boy. I'm gonna turn off the light. Yep, there's one. There's one. Definitely not come stay. Nice. Um. Let me see. Did it just paint? It did just paint. Wow, all right, we know what it is then. Easel canvas drawing. Oh, joyous day. That's a fun one. That's a really fun one. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. That is part of the secondary objectives. Ah, I tried to catch it. I thought I would catch that one. These are the set part of the secondary objectives, these ghost orbs. You just gotta catch them. Ah, damn it. There's one or two. We're going to look at our secondary objectives. Now that we've locked in what ghost it is, we cannot change it. But now we can go after our secondary objectives. Which are randomly dependent. Um, certain maps have certain set secondary objectives that are always on the map. This one, I don't think has any set secondaries. So put the dead rats in the boiler. So we got to find some dead rats. We got to collect some salt bags and we got to collect the ghost orbs. We already collected two of those. Uh, what's my sanity at? 67%. I might as well because I don't want to die. I'm going to go ahead and take a sanity pill. That looked very buggy. <laughs> oh, yes. But we got our crucy. We're probably going to keep it out because we don't need the evidence anymore. We already know what evidence 
types it is. The ghost hasn't hunted yet, which is very nice, and we don't want it to. But as a demon, it's going to be highly aggressive um, once we piss it off. Got it. Okay, there's the boiler. We just have to find the rats for it. Usually the rats are sort of outlined. There's a salt bag. We want to find the salt bags. We got to go downstairs, which we haven't been yet. Oh, all right. We already got a good scare upstairs. Um, this area is part of the exorcism, which we can perform after we do all the secondaries. You going to scare me? You going to spook me? Nope. Uh, I don't see any salt bags or anything down here. Now, the Ouija board will let you know what ghost room it is, what room the ghost room is, but it's really not worth it. It is so, so not worth it. It drains your sanity, and unlike Phasmophobia, it's like... Okay. Alright. Yeah. I think it's pissed. Okay, that's fine. I didn't want that anyway. Where the hell are the rats? I haven't seen any of the rats so far. That must be by the ghost room, like all of them. So those closets we can hide in. You can also circle the ghost if you really want to. If you've seen me not go into a room after exploring, it's because you can't get in there. There's a rat and a salt bag. Let me see. Is there another salt bag in here? No. Okay, let's take this rat in there. <laughs> I love how it's just, here we are. This is David. Say hello to David, everybody. He's a great guy. He's dead. He's a great guy. Goodbye, David. What a great guy. He's dead now. I mean, he was dead before, but then he screamed anyway, despite being dead. So that kind of makes me think he wasn't actually dead that much. Which, you know, a little, eh, what a little overachiever. All right, there's that. Probably the last rats in the ghost room. Hey, ghosty. We could say its name, but that would just piss it off. We can try and make it uh, do more activity by pissing it off. But since it's a demon, I really would not like to do that. This could be Frankie. Frankie the second Esquire. Goodbye, Frankie the second Esquire. Oh, oh no, I'm burning alive. Except I'm not alive, I'm dead, but I'm gonna scream anyway because I'm a ghosty goo rat thing. Ugh. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. That's what happened. Ew. Uh, last ratty? Last rat? Yeah, it's cold in here. Rat? I don't see a rat. I don't see a rat? I missed the rat somewhere. I missed a rat. Where for art thou, ratty? Is it in a room that I've already been through and just completely missed? I hate this freaking dress that's here. There's a closet to hide in. All right, come on. There's got to be another ratty around here somewhere. I just missed it somewhere. Like a noob. Yeah, I don't like that apron there. Where's this damn rat? My sanity is probably dropping, but I'm kind of okay with that. I kind of want to show off the hunt. We're going to go back upstairs, see if we missed it. Hello, usually there's a good scare right here. Okay. That's fine. I didn't want it one anyway. I didn't want to show it off anyway. Is it over here? We'll know when a hunt starts. Trust me, you'll know. It is uh, very, very, very obvious when one starts. I'm looking around on the ground. I'm looking on everything. I must have missed it in, like, the very beginning area. Do, 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 do. Uh, still no sign of a rat. Still no sign of a rat. You got to do something? No. Still no sign of a rat. Who the hell is this rat? Wait, I think I just saw it. Yeah, there it is. It's right in here. This is, uh, oh man, who gives a crap? This is just a dead rat. You know what? <clears throat> it's gonna be bug bite or what? Bug eaten, that's what it was. Jojo reference. Hooray! So that's all three, uh, rats. 
um, now we have to do the exorcism. And for this, I am not going to take a sanity pill because I want to show off a hunt. Instead, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go uh, dual wielding crucifixes like Jesus Akimbo. 66%. Good. Exorcist. To exorcise the ghost, find the ghost's five missing fingers and place them in the ritual area in the basement. So, uh, each exorcism is completely different. Some of them are easy. Some of them, like the asylum, are obscenely hard to pull off. And are very, very involved. But I'm going to probably let it hunt me now. This boiler is still here. Now we just have to find five fingers. For a five-finger death punch, as it were. <sighs> what, a, what a nice band. I'm not actually a huge fan, but they're cool. Ooh, there's one. Cha, oh, that's huge. Oh, right. I have too much stuff on me. Got above. Now that's a finger. Jeez Louise. Fucking pointed at things with this thing. That ain't a finger. That ain't even a toe. That's like a bear claw. Ew. Might be one down here. I'm gonna keep out my cruisy. I gotta remember where the first one is just in case this thing chain hunts me. Which is possible. Which is possible. Yes, chain hunting is possible. We're going to go upstairs because that's a danger zone. Any other big old honking fingers? Any more big old honking fingers because those things are huge. Those things are massive. I like how there's no light in the toilet, so you just have to take a shit in utter darkness. It's like, oh, okay, there goes that light. That's fine. That's cool. I didn't want that. Oh, yeah, there's that fine fellow. Oh, there's another big honking finger. You know, fucking, you pick your nose with that thing. You just take off the whole nose. Yep, and then fire. All right, we're doing good so far. We haven't been hunted or anything. This demon seems to be not uh, super active anymore. I'm kind of kind of concerned, actually. I think I just heard it mess with the lights. Okay, there goes that light. Isn't there a light in here? Ooh, how nice, how pleasant. There's no thing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. God, it's massive. Frickin' finger cannon. We're doing good right now. We're doing really, really good. I I am a little tense just because I'm like, mm, it might attack it or any second now. And we have to go to the ghost room. I'm going to be careful with my sprint. I'm going to save up my sprint instead of using it willy-nilly now, just in case I have to make a run for it. I mean, I don't want to use my cruci. I'm safe as long as I hold the cruci, but I don't want to use it. Yeah, close the door again. It's pissed. Uh, I don't see a finger in here. All right, goodbye. Just go ahead and close that door. There's one. Uh-oh. I don't know where the other one is. I'm gonna sprint away from there. I don't know where the other one is. I didn't see it in the ghost room, so it could be anywhere inside the house. That ain't good. Oh, yeah, that ain't good at all. We're doing great, though. We've shown off just about all of what this map in particular, the first map, has to offer. To bring out the cruisy. Just in case. Stay in the light for a moment. Some takeout on that uh, chest of drawers. I saw it. It's around here somewhere. Who knows what our sanity is at now? Low is what I'm assuming. We'll go back upstairs and check it again.
We're overall in a pretty safe spot right now, though. Oh, come on. It's, it's in the ghost room, isn't it? I just missed it. Yeah, it's in the ghost room. What we're gonna do... What we're gonna do... We're gonna take this. Just in case. We're gonna go look. Just in case I screw it all up. I'm gonna take that with me. Okay. I already found one in here, so I don't think two can spawn in the same room. Okay, here we go. It's closing stuff on me. Oh, it's opening it again. I don't see it anywhere. Oh! Oh, it's here. It's here. That's not a hunt, but it's here. That means it's getting really pissed off. Damn, where is this last finger? I must have missed it somewhere on the ground or something. There it is. Ooh, okay. It's getting pissed off, but we've just done it. I'm surprised we didn't get hunted at all. I'm gonna hold this out just in case. You done, son. Boom! And that's it, we've exercised the ghost. Whew, we got some good scares. We didn't get hunted, which I'm shocked by really shocked by but we're gonna make some moolah off this one if you do all of your um so you get money for finding out what type of ghost it is correctly you actually lose a huge chunk of money if you get it wrong you get money for each secondary objective and you get a huge amount of money for doing the exorcism so if you need a lot of money this is actually a good map to sort of 27 percent. it never hunted that's crazy to me and it's a demon, too. That's crazy to me. But there we go. That is a demonologist. Let's go back to the safe house and let's see how much money, honey, we got. Ah. Ooh, we got a lot. We got a lot. Uh, 5,100 monies. Monies. Oh, man, look at it all. Yep, each secondary objective is worth money. Now, something important, if you do not get the correct ghost type, even if you do everything else, your final amount is cut in half. You always lose 50% if you do not um, get the uh, ghost type correctly. Finally, the higher difficulty you are, the more money you are, but the harder the uh, um, game gets. It's still worth it to play on hard. I play on hard usually by myself if I'm with other people or if I'm by myself. For the channel, I usually go for medium just because it makes it easier to uh, record. That, I'm really surprised didn't hunt, though. Even though I took the two sanity pills, I got down to 27% sanity. I am shocked it did not hunt. But that's the only thing I didn't get to show off. And look at all these maps. There is so much more, and some of these are really, really big. Probably my favorites are the Abandoned House, Kurosawa House, and Cyclone Street. Just because I think they're, like, the um, most fun in a group and by yourself. Uh, Bedlam is probably the hardest overall to do. But um, all these are fine. It's probably... My least favorite is probably Deadwood House. Deadwood House is just ugly to look at. It's not hard or anything. It's just ugly to look at. Hey, there little, hey there little gato. Where is he? Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. His name is Shalami. My friend wanted to name him Salmon, but it's Shalami. Yeah, little Shalami. Yeah. Yeah, and you can buy cats and stuff with your money. So play this game. It's great. I hope you all enjoyed. This has been Demonologist.